Hello, this is Stephen or Husky to Healthy on YouTube. Today is June 2nd and uh, it is actually, I guess technically, uh, a month since my surgery. Uh, I started off at 276 on my uh, pre-surgery uh, pre liquid diet a week ahead of time starting roughly around May 1st. And today, which would basically make uh, about five weeks, I have lost 35 pounds even. I am down to 241. I'm pretty excited and, and happy about that. Uh, I am kind of shocked that I lost, uh, you know, almost a third of my gold weight in one month. But... Uh, kind of hope that it slows down just a little because I don't want to have skin sagging issues but uh, that's neither here nor there right now I'm just happy that uh, you know that I'm having such a good loss uh, I am on mushy still and pureed foods and that's what this blog is going to be about I am over mushies and I'm over pureed foods nope no easier way to say it. I know that I have to be on them. I'm going to stick to them. My doctor doesn't allow me to start eating regular foods that aren't pureed or um, blended until my seventh week, which would technically be June 23rd. So I've got about 21 days left. I miscalculated at first and thought it was going to be July 1st and I thought I was going to die. But no, it's actually going to be June 23rd. I'm actually going to see the doc, my doctor for my, uh, I guess, uh, six, and, uh, six and a half week follow-up. Um, and we'll talk about that and I'm really, really looking forward to it. But I hate mushies. I can't stand it. It is tired. I want something with texture. I want something with crunch. I want something with some, mm, you know, um, right now the only things that I really, and I'm not even saying enjoying them, I'm just saying that doesn't make me want to throw things, throw it away, is a hard-boiled egg with half an avocado with a squirt of lemon juice pureed, or refried beans with cheese. And that's about it. I cannot do another protein shake. Uh, the sweetness and nastiness of it just... By the time I, I get to halfway to a point, um, get to my halfway point in drinking them, I have about uh, this much, about an inch of s that scuzzy, foamy protein stuff on top of the, on top of the protein, and it's just... It turns me off, and so for the last two days, particular, I in particular, I've had a real problem getting enough protein in. And I've gone on to my vertical sleeve talk.com um, and posted about it. And I've heard a mixture of things. I've heard that some people say, um, you know, when you're in the, your mushy stage, don't concentrate on getting the proteins in, just go ahead and. You know, whatever you can get down, get down. And while it's helpful, and I guess on one hand, at least I'm getting some calories in, on the other hand, it goes against my belief system of how this is going to work. And I truly believe that the rules are what make or break you, and that is, number one, proteins first. Every single day, every single meal, have protein. Get in 60 to 80 bare minimum protein. Um, drink your water, number two. Drink at least 64 ounces of water. Don't drink 30 minutes before and 30 minutes after. I am having a little problem with that. I need to sip every once in a while. Um, number three is uh, exercise every day for 30 minutes. Right now I'm on an every other day kind of schedule because uh, let me see how I can put this delicately. Um, not eating a lot. The stuff that I'm eating is getting broken down really, really well. And so everything that comes out is in a watery form. And desitin is my friend. And uh, 
sometimes it's hard to uh, walk when you got uh, raw booty. So, uh, I, you know, I slather on the desitin, and some days are better at, at doing that or not. I do about three to four miles every other day. Um, but, you know, Bandit Windy says, you know, try to do 30 minutes every day or try to do 210 minutes, uh, 210 minutes in a week. And most of my walks are about an hour, so I think I'm getting in the 210. So, um, you know, I'm just trying to do what I can. You know, I'm working my plan. I'm trying to do the best that I can. I'm really frustrated about not being able to get in all the proteins because to me that's really important, you know. Sure, I can go, a lot of people say, well, just go and um, do mashed potatoes and maybe throw in a scoop of cream cheese, but I don't want all those carbs. You know, maybe it's the, um, yeah, just get something in right now, and then once you go to solids, do that. Well, I'm, I'm doing pretty good, and I'm building a habit of not eating carbs and doing my proteins first, and uh, I want to stick to that. I don't want to, I don't want to start doing bad habits with that. Obviously, something's working. I've lost 35 pounds in, you know, a four- to five-week period, so, um so we'll see, you know, and I now just want to take a moment to thank uh, Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works, Banded Windy and Cabernet Queen, and everybody at VerticalSleepTalk.com, and why can't I remember the other great person on Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works that, uh, that I love listening to, Gastric Rose. Thank you, Gastric Rose. Um, you know, I, I appreciate all your honesty and... And your patience, too. I know that you get a lot of us newbies in here asking the same question. And if you lost a pound for every time you heard a question repeated, you would no longer be here, I'm sure. But so I thank you for making yourself available to us because, you know, your wisdom and your honesty and your vulnerability, because, you know, it's it takes a lot to put yourself out there like that. It's it's all appreciated, and even though my journey may be different than yours, and I have a I have the vertical gastric sleeve, and y'all most y'all have the band or um, or have had um, the uh, gastric bypass. You know, we're we all have the same goals, and we can all take tips, and we just learn from our mistakes, and we just you know. Hopefully we learn from our mistakes and we just go forward. You know, I, uh, I'm not letting myself worry right now about feeling restriction or feeling satiated. I have a feeling that that's going to come when I start going on to solid foods. And, um, I, and I'm gearing myself towards it. I'm like, I will probably wind up, you know, if I'm having, if I'm having uh, solid foods, it's going to be denser. It's going to... Um, and I'll probably will have a little stall or maybe even some weight gain when I go to that. But I'm mentally preparing myself for it so I don't beat myself up. It's just, it's a part of my journey. And then my body will start adjusting to having whole foods again and not being so restricted. And then we'll start losing weight again. Or I'll, or I'll bump up my exercise. Or I'll do what needs to be done for me to hit my goal. And it's, that's what it is. It's, I'm realizing that this is my life now. And... I'll make the choices that work best for me, and and I just need to be aware of, well, this is your choice, and this will be your consequence, or this will be your reward, and I'll make the choice and go from it from there, and realizing that too many consequences will just put me back exactly where I was pre-surgery. So, um, anyway, uh, again, thank you for all your support. Thanks for listening to me babble, and y'all have a wonderful, wonderful week, and I will talk to you next week. Bye.